It sure is, Christina and Mark. Travis Kaufman appeared at a Fort Collins, Colorado news conference today with claw marks on his face from the attack. The 31-year-old was running Horse Tooth um, Mountain Park there, there was on a February point where 4th when I, the lion pounced would... on him from behind. It locked onto his wrist, and the two tumbled down the side of a trail after wrestling and trying to fight the animal off with a rock. He was able to choke the lion until it released him. Kaufman was still able to run a few miles to get help. There, there was a point where I, I was concerned that I wasn't going to make it out of it. And, and I think it might have been a mix of me tussling with the cat and it's still clawing at me and then thinking about another cat potentially coming along. Um, and I, I just kind of had, had that wave of fear roll over me and, and, and thought that I could just end up there and, and stay there. And uh, luckily that wasn't the case. And I am able to spend Valentine's Day 2019 with my girlfriend, Annie. Kaufman required 20 stitches and suffered puncture wounds along with laceration wounds. The lion was later found dead on the trail by wildlife officials. Colorado Parks and Wildlife officers said their investigation and an animal autopsy confirmed Kaufman's account of what happened. Kaufman said the ordeal will not stop him from backcountry trail running in the future, but he might take a knife next time and run with a friend. He also said he didn't want to kill the animal, but he had to defend himself. Fox News now streams live news coverage from across the country all day. A link is on our website, fox10phoenix.com.